Muhammad Ali was a boxer. Right, they were friends. Van Margera, who is best known as a superstar actor, producer, stuntman, and former professional skateboarder, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate, including his former legendary mansion nicknamed Castle Bam. Castle Bam became famous in its own right as it was featured on Bam's television show, Viva La Bam. Castle Bam was featured on MTV's show Cribs in 2008. In addition to the main house, it has a pool, barn, and detached garage. Bam constructed a skate park and BMX bike track on the property, and he's been known to throw a few parties there. In fact, in 2018, Bam put out an open invitation for a house party, costing patrons $40, which would be a fundraiser for his new skateboard. Let me tell you, this party was massive, with at least a thousand people showing up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour you do not want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Bam Margera has had quite the eventful career in show business, garnering a net worth of $20 million. Although in his prime, he was estimated to have as much as $45 million. What began as Margera shooting himself and friends skateboarding and doing stunts eventually turned into the CKY video series, which he released independently, caught the attention of Jeff Tremaine, who ended up becoming the director of Jackass and launched Bam into superstardom. Bam was initially known in popular culture as a cast member of the MTV reality stunt show Jackass. However, he quickly became a fan favorite and made bank with his own spin-offs, Viva La Bam and Bam's Unholy Union. In addition, Margera first began his career as a professional skateboarder in 1997. In 1998, Bam was sponsored by Toy Machine Skateboards. He joined Team Element, the demonstration team for Element Skateboards in 2001. Although as of 2016, he was no longer a part of the team. At various times, he's also received sponsorships from brands such as Speed Metal Bearings, ADO Footwear, Electric Sunglasses, Volcom, Land Speed Wheels, Destroyer Trucks, Destructo Trucks, and Fairman Skate Shop. Today, Bam also earns an annual salary of an estimated $2 million just for wearing Element brand attire, so his total annual income is estimated at $6.5 million. Not too shabby for a kid who began shooting himself and friends skateboarding and doing stunts. With all the bank he has made from MTV with Jackass and and his own spin-off shows, it was only a matter of time before he dropped some serious cake on real estate, and that he did. The house was listed for $1.19 million when it was sold to Bam in 2002, though the agreed selling price was never made public. It didn't take long before Bam turned into a castle of his own. Hey, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now, we've previously reported on the homes of Wayne Gretzky and Drake. If you'd like to check those out, please hit up our channel and do so. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at that dude McFly so we can chat some more and let us know whose house tour to do next in the comments below. Let's get into the video. Back in 2018, Bam Margera's mother, April, had been working on renovating the house throughout much of 2018 so that it could be rented out as an Airbnb. Later that year, Bam had put out an open invitation for a house party, which came with a covered charge of $40. And let me tell you, this party was epic. Throughout the day, guests could buy beer, pizza, and if feeling really charitable, some of the house's artwork. Now, Margera had set everything up to help him destroy the skateboarding bowl in his property's barn, saying he was working with the pro skateboarder, Danny Way, to create a better bowl. Drone footage from the party showed over 1,000 fans in attendance and the night got a little rowdy with a giant bonfire where an abundance of furniture and even Christmas tree were torched. I mean, it wasn't really a jackass party if furniture wasn't breaking or things weren't burning. The legendary Castle Band was initially built in 1985, features five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and sits on 14 acres of property. Bam had acquired the home in 2002 and while the selling price was never made public, it was initially listed for $1.1 million. In addition to the main house, it has a pool, barn, and detached garage. Bam constructed a skate park and BMX bike track on on the property. The home features a number of crazy amenities, including antique jukebox, gothic style of decorating, and pirate themed bar. In addition, the home is decked out with medieval decor, large velvet red curtains, and unique paintings throughout. While the interior gives off a medieval gothic vibe, his exterior features a perfect spot for entertaining. In addition, his detached garage holds a Mercedes, Lamborghini, Hummer, and other high-end vehicles. But more on his backyard in a minute. Upon entry, guests are greeted to a unique grand entry with a grand dining hall and pleasure lounge on either side. The grand dining hall features features oversized windows decked out with red velvet drapes, a colossal table with elegant chandeliers soaring above, and spiraling wooden staircase that leads to the second story, plus balcony overlooking the rooms. In addition, the room boasts an abundance of unique paintings sprawled throughout the floor, some of Bam's skateboards, and a billiards table beside the stairway. On the main floor, Bam keeps quite a consistent decor as most of the custom fixtures are across between Victorian and Gothic vibe. The pleasure lounge is decked out with an abundance of massive leather furnishings, an elegant carpet, and cozy fireplace with intriguing artwork soaring above. 
up. Like the grand dining hall, the room features oversized windows, large velvet red drapes, custom fixtures, and a balcony which overlooks the room. However, this room is steps away from Bam's very own pirate bar for those that fancy a Chardonnay. Bam's bedroom is decked out with a gothic canopy, collection of Bam skateboards, artwork, and posters dedicated to his love for punk music, and even his own element pillow, whom he was sponsored by for many years. Despite the bizarre house tour thus far, I will say he has a pretty decent sized walk-in closet and nice, large, oversized windows. Steps from Bam's master bedroom is his very own home office, which had since been renovated by his mom, that features custom fixtures, piano keyboard, and nostalgic props from the Jackass stunts. Probably one of the coolest spots to hang out in the interior of Bab's house is the games room. This one puts traditional game rooms to shame as it features its very own arcade with all of the classics. We're talking Pac-Man, Frogger, NBA Jam, Mortal Kombat, and Tetris. With easy access to yet another bar, it would be very easy to see why this is probably the sickest room in the house. For those skinny enough to fit, a narrow walkway decked out with pink insulation and water tank leads to a guest room. In fact, Rob himself had to stay there. <laughs> the room featured a cot, guitar, microwave, and radio, basically the only things you need to survive. The other part of the basement connects to what can best be described as a man cave. I mean, this room is decked out with knight's armor, guitar recording system, and mixer, more skateboards, two quarter pipe skate ramps, and yes, Bam has been known to board inside the man cave. Decked out with an abundance of lavish furnishings, television, and bear fridge, this room rivals the arcade. This man cave leads to the outer deck and has since been renovated to include an enormous circular deck with pool house and stairwell to the pool. Both the deck, which overlooks the beautiful saltwater pool, and poolside are decked out with abundance of furnishings. In addition, the backyard features a bar, outdoor barbecue area, and entertainment system, and an outdoor skate park. That's right, Bam's party he threw was so that he could create an even better bowl. Backyard also features gardens and an abundance of space, almost 14 acres to be exact, which is perfect for entertaining. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Bam Margera's home, known as the famous Castle Bam. After seeing that fancy little crib he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Bam? Personally, there aren't many regrets I have, but not partying in Castle Bam, that might be one of them. <laughs> Out of Bam's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. Love it if you guys follow me on Instagram at that McFly. And let us know whose house tour to do next in the comments down below. See you guys next time. Bye.